everyone, Maya here from My Little Learners, and I am back for nonfiction November. So I have a whole bunch of nonfiction children's books to share with all of you, an amazing selection. So get ready to check all of those out. And as per usual, if you see something that you like, go ahead and comment below your top three favorites, and I will be choosing two subscribers this time from the comments below to send one of their top choices to. So go ahead and be sure to subscribe to My Little Learners and watch through the video, see which nonfiction books you like, comment your top three favorites, and let me know, because then I'll choose two of you to send one of your choices to. All right, always love sharing all the bookish love. Now, in this nonfiction selection today, we have a whole variety of topics from nature to science to like celebrations, words, jobs, all sorts of things. What is not in this collection is animal nonfiction. Now, if you're interested in animal nonfiction, I just posted a whole animal nonfiction collection on my Instagram page. So you can find the link to the post actually in the description down below. And there you'll find all the, the new release animal nonfiction books and a link to the list where you can find all of those and order those ones. Otherwise, in this nonfiction collection, it basically covers like all the other topics of nonfiction. So I think we are ready to get started. Now, let's check it out and see what we got. So I'm going to start with the board books. We just have um, one selection of board books, actually kind of two, two, two. I'll show you the other one too. And um, it kind of counts as a board book. And I have been loving board books lately because as you might know, I just had a baby boy in September. And one of our favorite things to do is read together. And we read all sorts of things. Um, but board books especially, I love to share with him because then he can kind of touch them. He's not really in the grabby phase because he's just like barely two months old. But it's a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to start with some board books first, some nonfiction board books. Again, make sure you check out and see what you like. If you have a baby or little one that you know of, these are definitely fun. So these nonfiction board books are actually from Little Feminists and you might know them. They are such a cute company. They sent actually have a selection of five here and what I love about these is that they have real photographs in them of real people which is why I kind of like put them in the nonfiction category. So this one is about how we eat and it's really cute because it's just simple narrative. It's a rhyming text on the bottom but it shows like all the different ways that you know kids eat food and people eat food and I love what's really great about Little Feminists is that all of their storybooks and you'll see in such in just a second are so inclusive they make sure to show photographs of like all different ethnicities races all different abilities and um all different you know ways of living and ways of life and such see, cute illustrations so this one's a bit is about how we eat they have different topics here and i'll show you a few more this is about hair different hairstyles and again i love Babies love looking at real babies and real people. So this will be great when babies now and when my baby's a little bit older too. And again, shows all different kinds of hairstyles, all different kinds of people, all different skin colors, and all different abilities. That's the hair one. This one is on the go. So different ways to move your body. And again, it shows all these different ways so that, you know, everyone is included and people can see themselves in books. And then children too can also see that they you know there's other ways of living and just accept that, you know. This one is about families. So different families, forms of families all the different ways, you know, that you can have family makes up, makeups, you know, like with them grandma, different mixed families, super cute photos again. And oh, last one in this collection is celebrations. So different holidays and celebrations that people celebrate. So these board books are super great. I love again, all their real life pictures. Definitely check these out. Fun board book, nonfiction ones for littles. All right, let me grab the next one. So this is the next board book type. And uh, this is called Jobs and Work People Do from Twirl, which is part of Chronicle Kids. I call it a board book because it is kind of like board book format, but the pages actually are, they're like thicker paper. So they're not quite like the boards. You see, it's like still bendy like paper, but it is like a thicker paper. Here's the table of contents so you can kind of take a peek. Um, but so much information in this one. Jobs, like so many things for people to see. Uh, like what is a job? All these different labels, great for vocabulary for kids and all these different ideas. You can be a toy designer, an orchestra conductor. Such a great way, you know, to introduce kids to like all these different things that they can be when they grow up. You know, most kids, like, I feel like they're so limited whenever anyone asks them, they say like doctor, you know, or because that's what they hear about. Be a doctor, be a lawyer or something. But look 
look at all these different other types of jobs and careers and dreams you can have to be a baker. Look at this page and it shows you like so many details and images about what they do. So a great way for a kid to explore. Also, this could be great for like encouraging, you know, like pretend play, like different jobs that they might have while they're playing pretend. So you could like read about a job and then do like a pretend restaurant skit scenario. That would be super fun. That's a cool idea. So jobs. So those are our board book types. Now we're going to move on. I actually have a stack of some nature nonfiction. So let's check out all these nature ones. And then we'll go to kind of more like miscellaneous nonfiction selections. Okay, so I hope you are finding some that you like so far. I know we've only seen board books. So let's take a look at these picture books. And this one is Iceberg in All Seasons. So this is great, you know, for like winter coming up iceberg a life in seasons and if you're like an educator or someone doing some non-fiction work or like storytelling definitely check out the ones in this video and look at all these beautiful illustrations so this goes into um you know how icebergs are formed and kind of like the life cycle of an iceberg and then like oh look at this page spreads out oh super cool illustrations you know kind of like the habitats around oopsies icebergs so this is a pretty one and this one is from groundwood books i have to check that out all right we have this one is from source books and listen to the language of the trees a story of how forests communicate underground i've read some books my friends about like tree communication and it is fascinating like how they talk through their roots and everything if you don't know anything about tree communication definitely start reading about it and share it with kids because it is so cool how like trees like literally like communicate and talk and share information with each other it even has like some more um information in real life photographs there on the back super cool one over and under the way so this is part of an over and under series and that is really cool they have oh, i'm looking in the back there's one about snow and the canyon the rainforest the pond this one is the wave so more of the ocean and this one is from i believe chronicle kids they do this fun series and this is this is kind of like a mix of like fiction nonfiction because it's kind of like a little story of this um of a child and going on a boat with a parent and they're going through the waves so that part's like a you know made up story but it goes through like different animals and things that you would see like that so that's like the non-fiction part so i always love these like blends of non-fiction fiction and it has like information in the back about the animals so for ocean lovers and so that's a little bit of ocean animals but also kind of nature this is what things come from nature. All right. And this one is super cool. Oh, so you know, this one is actually more board book than the job one. So this one technically is kind of a board book. It's hard. And if you look at the pages, they are kind of like that hard cardboard. And what's super cool, this one is interactive too. So what things come from nature. And this is really cool because it goes through like, what products and things do we get from nature? Like what do we use in nature to make things that we use? So for example, what does the forest give us? And then here you'll see, oh, it's kind of sad, we're like cutting down trees. But here you'll see um, from trees, if you cut them down, you get paper, you can open the flaps. You can also get kitchen utensils are made from wood. So it shows you, well, what do we use things in nature for in our own lives? And then on the next page, it shows you more information of like what, why are forests important? It gives you more information about trees and the nature, what other things you can make out of wood. So different areas of so fields, cotton, you can make clothes and textiles, you can make baked goods from the wheat. And then here again, more things and pictures of like what you can actually make and more information. So this is really cool. It also takes you through like different other, um, what do animals give? Things that you can get from animals and then more of a breakdown. So cute little flaps. This one is technically a board book. So that should have gone in the beginning. Look at the size of this one, my friends. It barely fits in my frame. So like this is my head and my head's not like super big anyways, but it's a big book compared to like, here's maybe like a normal size book. See? Oh. All right, Encyclopedia of Plants, Fungi, and lich lich Lichens? Lich lichens? I have to look up how to say that word. Mm, lichens? Okay. And just massive size. I love these big books, especially when they show, like, nonfiction stuff like this. Because look how detailed all these, like, 
parasitic and carnivorous plants. Goes through all these different plants. Super cool for kids to just like look at, but also very informative. So it shows you all the different plants and then at the top, it gives you information about each different plant. A giant book, beautiful, great for adults too to learn. Like all of these nonfiction books are also great learning resources for grownups. Like I learn a lot from these books as well. And this one is from Albatross Media. They have like a lot of these big books that are super cool. Um, that other one, that other board book was also from Albatross. And then this one is a beautiful one from Simon Cade's Beach Line Books. And this is another cool way to show nonfiction because um, it goes into like different ways that the sky can look. And it's cool because it has like a uh, more narrative, shorter text here for like younger kids. But then at the bottom, you'll see it gives a more detailed explanation of like what this is. So photographers love the golden light at sunset. Gives more information about like the golden light of sunset when you're taking photographs. Beautiful picture. So again, you can read the simple text to a younger child or go more in depth down here with more information. So this is When the Sky Glows, a beautiful one. So those were our nature reads, my friends. So I'm going to go now more into some more miscellaneous ones. This one is about music and the opera, the Royal Opera House Curtain Up. And I believe this is from Thames and Hudson. They have made some excellent books. And look how beautiful this goes into like all the different things of the opera house, the costume department. This is great if you're doing like a music unit or you're teaching music class or, you know, like if you're going into different jobs, what is it like to work in an orchestra? The prop department. And look at the beautiful illustrations, the ballet studio. So many things go into making an opera. A great way to like break it down. And then this would be super fun especially if you're going to go see an opera this would be a great book to prep a child to do that or if they just saw an opera a great way to connect you know book to what they just experienced beautiful one curtain up this one is also ooh, from Thames and Hudson almost dropped it a history of words for children so this goes into the history of words let's take a look on the inside um okay born to talk it kind of goes into like where words come from right the history of words like where did writing come from? How did we start writing? Like the holiday, different, not holiday, the alphabet, different letters. It kind of looks like I saw this H O I think, but actually like, I don't know, in my head, it made me think holiday. Where did books start coming from? Where did reading stories start coming from? All these different ways of like words, poetry and everything. See, it's also like a very, pretty like thick book so this is probably one for like older readers or you can like kind of read it with younger ones and kind of break it down for them if they're interested in like small chunks history of words okay. this one is another one from albatross and um this one's also kind of like that job one where it's not quite a board book, so maybe it should have gone in the beginning, but How Healthy as a Dragon. This was like the sky one and that it's a mix of fiction and nonfiction because it's a dragon, so obviously that's fiction. <laughs> but, and it kind of goes through like a story of a little girl with a dragon. She's the princess is helping the dragon. But what's nonfiction about it is that the princess is like helping the dragon. He has a toothache and helping the dragon become more healthy. And when she helps him in the book, it also gives you like real life advice of what's bad for your teeth, what's good for your teeth, or like, how do you brush your teeth the right way? Or even like, how do you wash your hands? So it has this nonfiction information throughout the story or what belongs where, how to tidy up and clean up. So that's really cool because it's kind of like a fun blend of like storytelling plus real life facts and information and helpful information for your kids too. So if you have a little kid who might need some like extra help being healthy and clean and tidy, this is a really fun one. All right, money. I've gotten several requests for like making entrepreneurial, like real selection of books. And this one is cool. So how do kids make money? A book for young entrepreneurs from Flower Pot Press. And this goes into like different ways that you can make money as a child. So you can set up like a small business, like a lemonade stand. Um, it gives you good tips throughout it. Walk dogs, different ideas, mowing lawns. And I like all the speech bubbles and like the cartoon illustration style. That is a cool one. Where we live. So this is from Kids Can Press. And this goes into mapping neighborhoods of kids around the globe. So these are cool. I always like these ones that take you around the world and show you know how like playful people in different places live. So this one does just that. It goes to different countries and you kind of see like different styles of architecture and different ways people might live their life depending on country they're from around the world. 
so where we live okay i have this one here then also kind of about like the whole global theme is we all celebrate so this is a fun one from tiny owl publishing that shares different holidays around the world during different seasons so in summer these are some holidays that different countries celebrate um different fastings island festivals so it goes through summers it goes through different kinds of festivals food festivals all these different celebrations that people might do and so another fun way to learn about you know different ways people celebrate around the world or maybe you can find one that you connect to in this book as well religion around the world so another global one learning about different religions that people believe in so another great one to explore religions around the world here okay we're down to our last little handful this one is Oh, an important historical one. So Seen and Unseen. This is about um, Japanese American incarceration. This one is also, again, for maybe more older readers, but it has real life photographs, very informational, some drawings and everything about what happened. So great study to like, go into this history, very important history to share and to recognize and remember so that, you know, you don't repeat mistakes and that you recognize that this happened that is a great one from chronicle books an important historical nonfiction one okay this one oh it is flu season winter time when all the diseases come so maybe a great time to whip this one out about snot sneezes and super spreaders everything you need to know about viruses and how to stop them so that part's important how to stop the viruses so if i look over here this is another one for maybe older readers but super informative love like all the cartoon graphics that are included all about graphic viruses you know and what they are how do you stop them anyone curious about that maybe you have littles who do want to become doctors or just super curious about how all these diseases are getting spread i'm kind of curious so like again this is great for adults to read too if you're interested we have this one what about the universe an illustrated q a book for kids from twirl chronicle kids and i love these ones that just have like a whole bunch of questions in them like how are stars born and look at how it shares information with all these graphics too right why don't people on the other side of earth fall into space like what is up with that gravity why do people say we're made of stardust who was the first to go to space so answers these cool questions about the universe and with these cool illustrations a great one for your curious kids especially space loving ones and these books my friends can make great holiday gifts too so i know holiday season is coming up and if you're looking for gifts for your curious kids definitely check these ones out all right well that was our selection of non-fiction books for non-fiction november whole miscellaneous bunch again my friends if you have a top three favorites go ahead and list them in the comments below make sure you subscribe to my little learners and i'll choose two of you to send um one of your top choices too and again if you're looking for animal nonfiction, go ahead and check that out on instagram now holiday season is coming up so i do have a roundup of new christmas hanukkah books coming up super soon so stay tuned to that make sure you subscribe so that you can find out more about that otherwise um i am going to be enjoying some of these books especially the board books with my own little baby if you ever have any requests for book topics or book roundups you want to see let me know because i will be filming more videos sharing more books with you sharing more giveaways and i'm so excited to continue all this bookish learning fun with all of you here on this channel or you can also find the full collection of everything i shared today linked below to shop if you want to get the books yourself and get them ready in time for the holidays or just check them out for your kid right away so if you want to check out the full collection and links to order go ahead and find that link down below it's linked to my amazon shop and that's a great way to find these titles too otherwise until next time my friends happy reading